When I first started playing guitar, I thought, you know what, this is my voice. I felt like it was a, a way for me to express myself without actually having to tell somebody how I felt. My name is Gabriel Ayala, and I am a guitarist, a classically trained guitarist. Had the opportunity of playing saxophone, piano, I was in choir, and uh, it wasn't until I was actually 15 or so that I received my first guitar. in my senior year, I said, well, what am I going to do with my life? What am I really going to do? I was like, I want to go to you know, school. I want to have, be an educated person and hopefully be a good role model for my nieces and nephews and that they can see if I can do it, anybody can do it. I wasn't the best of students, but uh, it really inspired me to. So I practiced tons and tons and just gave up everything. out with buddies or doing anything and just trying to get to a higher level and when we had our juries at the first semester my instructor said I think you're ready to be a performance major It's a lifelong goal to find my, my sound, but I've been experimenting with different genres of music. When I was younger, all I wanted to do was play fast songs, just to show off, just to show how great my technique was. And as I got older, I thought, well, what about these slower songs? They're so sensitive. I've been playing a lot of tango music, but I've been uh, playing flamenco music uh, as well as jazz. I'm from the uh, Bosporiaki tribe, and I'm kind of have been the first Native American classical guitarist. One of my goals is to help break the stereotypes of Native people. So it's important for me to talk about the importance of education, uh, the importance of living a drug-free, alcohol-free, and even tobacco-free lifestyle. Uh, just because of the, the impact that it's had on reservations with meth hitting on reservations so hard. It's just really sad when you see our youth uh, just kind of in a constant decline of there's no hope for them. So in my travels, I, I try to inspire them and let them know you, know you can do anything that you'd like. A lot of times it's kind of like, wow, an Indian does this. You know, and it's cool and it's funny, you know, because you see this youth and they're smiling and they're like, you look like me and you're doing that. And I'm like, yeah, it's cool, isn't it? And like, and you have like long hair even and you didn't cut it and you speak your language. I try to introduce myself in my language and, you know, let them know. Sometimes I'll sing a traditional song uh, at the beginning of my concerts to let people know I haven't forgotten who I am. And this instrument just gives me the opportunity to share those things, my values, what I uphold very high. Thank you.